When creating charts to display data, it's important that the resulting presentation is easy to read with no gaps to disrupt the flow of information being represented. This is crucial in financial or daily sales charts that require weekends and holidays to be excluded from the diagram. Starting with DXperience 10.2, the Extra Charts suite introduces a feature to easily exclude weekends, standard and custom holidays, or simply to allow you to modify your work week and display only the dates that you require. In this demo, we'll look at a step-by-step -step approach to bind an extra chart control to historical stock data and then exclude weekends and any holidays to remove the gaps displayed on the chart. I'll start with a new WinForms application project. From the toolbox, I expand the DXperience 10.2 data group and drag and drop a new chart control onto the form. The chart wizard is automatically invoked. Since this example will use a stock chart, I'll scroll all the way down to the financial chart types. Here I can select between an OHLC chart and a candlestick chart. I select the latter and click Finish to close the wizard. I'll dock the chart control so that it fills the entire available client area. Now I need to bind it to data. From the Smart tag, I click the Add Project Data Source link to invoke the Data Source Configuration Wizard. I'll select Database as my data source type and click Next. I'll keep Data Set as the Database Model and click Next. To create a new connection string, I click the New Connection button and click Browse to locate a sample access database file that contains data of the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index for the past three consecutive months. I test the database connection and click OK to close the window. I click Next and then No to not make a local copy of the database file. I leave the dataset name as is and proceed to select the table and fields that will supply the chart data. I click Finish to complete the wizard. The chart is now bound to the data source. However, to use it, I still need to map the fields to the correct series bindings. To do this, I run the chart wizard again. I click on Data and select the Series Binding tab. I'll set the argument scale type to date time and the argument property to the trade date field of the data table. I'll then proceed to map the low, close, open, and high values of the series. To make the chart easier to read, I'll make a few appearance customizations. From the Point Labels page, I'll hide the value labels for each point plotted on the chart. I switch to the Axes page and select the primary Y axis. In the Range tab, I'll uncheck Auto and set a minimum and maximum value to be used for the Y axis of the chart and I click Finish to close the wizard. Let's run the application to see what the chart looks like. You can see that the data has been retrieved and correctly plotted on the chart. However, there are some gaps due to missing dates from the data source. These dates are missing because they are either weekends or holidays, and as the market was closed on those days, no trading data is available. Now, if you've looked at financial charts either online or in a trading application, you'll notice that in a general overview chart, such gaps are not present. This is because the charting library will filter those days out. Starting with version 10.2 of DXperience, Extra Charts also supports exclusion of weekend and holidays from the chart view. So let's return in Visual Studio and see how we can accomplish this. I click to select the chart diagram and expand x-axis properties. As I scroll down, you'll see a new property here called Workdays Only. By setting this property to true, Extra Charts will filter out the dates that fall on a weekend. So now, when I run the application, you'll notice that the majority of the gaps have been removed. However, there are still two gaps visible. This is because those dates were public or banking holidays on which the market was closed. Extra Charts also support standard as well as custom holidays. Let's see what options are available. I expand the Workdays options on the x-axis. Here, I can specify which days make up a work week or add holidays that will be filtered out of the chart diagram. I can either add holidays manually or import it from an existing holidays list. This list can be generated from Microsoft Outlook or the DevExpress Extra Scheduler Library. I click on the Browse button to locate and load a holidays file. For this demo, I'm using an already exported XML file that is installed as part of the DXperience installer. Upon selecting the file, 
I'm presented with a list of available national holidays to choose from. Since the financial data is only from the U.S. stock market, I'll select the list of holidays for the United States. You can see that the holidays are loaded into the list. I click Close, and those dates are also filtered out on the Charts diagram. When I run the application, you can still see one gap remaining. This is the spot for July 5th of 2010. As July 4th, the U.S. Independence Day, fell on a Sunday, the following day was considered a public holiday, leading to the closure of the U.S. Stock Exchange. So, to fix this, I can go back to Visual Studio, bring up the holidays list, and click the green plus sign to add a custom date to be filtered out of the diagram. So let's select July 5th of 2010 and call this Market Holiday. Now when I run the application, you'll see that all weekends and holidays have been removed from the charts diagram and only work days that have available data are displayed. Thanks for watching and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.